All right. Hello, fillies and gentle ponies, and welcome to another episode of Not Your Brony. And we're just going to pick up right where we left off and get into it. Previously on My Little Pony. Elements of Harmony. Make some friends! Yeah! I like how she tried to cover it up. Ponies in this town are crazy. Cover it up. She found out the secret of the uh, evil pony, and instead of telling, warning her, she just uh, tries to cover it up. That's true, because she was the one who sealed her, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But then you have like people like saying, "Oh, it's just a, it's just a fairy." T-. I'm like, the person who sealed her is really still alive. Right, uh, Nightmare oh, Moon. Uh, oh, Sarah Wilk. Sarah Wilk. Wall- uh, Celestia. Stand back, you she did what? She John Wilk booth. Uh, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, Princess Celestia. <laughs> She's up there in the balcony. <laughs> Nighttime? Forever? That's right. We we did decide last time that um it would be very terrible for the economy. Yes. And the environment in the world yeah. essentially. <laughs> well, for them the environment is the economy. They can't grow uh, still... wheat and um oats and carrots and stuff. I don't think they can survive and apples. How can I stop Nightmare Moon without People just walk into our house, don't they? It's like Squidward. <laughs> They didn't even she walk. They kind of just teleported into her house. Don't you, Twilight? Was her house? Is that a private library or a public library? All about the prediction of nightmare. And I see her house. Mysterious objects called the elements of harmony are the only. She lives in a public her, library. But I don't know what they are. <laughs> it is said the last known location of the five elements was in the ancient castle of the royal pony sisters. It is located in what is now. We're getting the lore. The Everbree Forest. Oh, that, was that was a nice a... transition. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let's go. Not so fast. It's very good economy of storytelling. The offer, but I'd really rather do this on my own. It's gonna like cut straight to the do, end. They have like three Flash Sugar artists working on this, but they like, come from Slack. We're sticking to you like caramel on a candy apple. You know why? Rainbow quit it. Cause every pony who's ever come in has never come out. Guys, I think, oh god, wow, threatened. she killed them all. <laughs> this is not a time to be scooping off. We are literally facing eternal darkness. No, no, this is the perfect time. Hey, let... I'm a coming. Applejack. How is... How, oh, wait, wait, how, wait, wait, how does that work? What, what is this? this? I need some that? answers Earthbound here. Is, it's a better grip, I guess. No, I ain't. You'll Long live the true. twilight. Now listen here. What <laughs> I'm saying her, to you is that her hose over, but like, <laughs> and you'll be safe. It's just really uh, awkward. Pushing, pushing down all her force. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, some of them can fly. Wait, why did she have to let? Oh, I guess they're going to the ground anyways. Never mind. <laughs> they could have just picked her up. She did it just to prank her. Good grief. I guess four. so. Just torment each that's... other. Whoa. Okay, I was not expecting a manticore to show up. Wait. Yeehaw! Get a That would be the worst place to attack it. It has tail, a scorpion just tail. Just tail. Immediately just stab you in the back. Rainbow! Now all you gotta do is. 20 gallons of venom. Wait! Just a second. Wait, this is basic. Yeah, this is like the mouse and the lion kind of deal. Yeah. Oh, you're just a little old baby kitty, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you I feel like Nightmare Moon miscalculated immensely. How yeah. did you know about the thorn? I didn't. Sometimes we all just need to be shown a little it. kindness. It just risked our lives. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she could have just died there. I know. 
<laughs> All her infinite power, she became a thorn. <laughs> she couldn't just, yes, like, possess it. <laughs> I will make it upset. <laughs> Why is she doing this? She's, is she under special restrictions? I don't know. No, she, she just, just like, kill them. Yeah. She could possess them and just make them, like, walk off a cliff. It's just mud. I mean, she could just appear and just, I guess, murder with her magic moon power. She's oh, stabbed. Girl, don't you see? <laughs> Just lost it in the face of... The oh my goodness. Well, okay. I mean, she's never really had sad. it as far as I can tell. tell. Oh, we got a sock. It's gonna totally ruin our video. The trees just stopped! Oh, I don't think the trees were actually doing anything. Again, oh. I, I don't I'm think... So it was an illusion. They're just... I guess you're trying to get them to run away. I guess that was her... All right. I mean, it it is an illusion. Yeah. I was like, if they just stood there for a few more minutes, and they would have realized they're not gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, at the end they'll, they'll they'll find like Nightmare Moon. They'll look over. There'll be like a curtain in a booth. Like they'll look yeah. behind the world. the booth. Excuse me, sir. This tacky little cloud of purple smoke just took. Passed me and tore half of my beloved mustache clean off. And now I think oh, I, I wonder who will solve this it. issue. <laughs> oh, give me a break. That would kind of feels like an episode about? of Dora the Explorer. Why, of course it is. How can anyway, so <laughs> they're just not pausing to ask us questions. Such lovely luminescent scales. Sea Correct. serpent, maybe a hydra. <laughs> Oh. Wow, she just assaulted him. <laughs> she exposed him like smog. <laughs> She's gonna get him shot. <laughs> he killed him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought she just. He oh, that can't was be not how I was so. expecting that to go. I thought she just cut the other side and even it out. Yeah, I thought she was just gonna trim the other side. Now he just looks terrible. <laughs> No, he does. Shut up. For nothing. Oh. Wait, what are you? Are you defending this decision? Listen, guys, I, I think that this is just set up for all the six of elements. What? Your generosity. Oh, what are you talking about? Luke? You're what? I, I, yeah. You're crazy. I'm blowing now, my mind right now. No way. <laughs> it can't be that. That'd be. That'd be way too well written. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never I mentioned I... that before, especially not in the theme song at all. Yeah. There's no way that Twilight Sparkle will be magic or whatever, and whatever the other ones sing in the you. intro song, I don't remember. We yeah, I don't are eagerly awaiting the arrival of the best flyer in Equestria. Who? Why? You. Oh, she's pulling a real Satan. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me. Hey, uh, Remember when Rainbow Satan Dash. tempted Jesus? He was like, Jesus, you, the, you can be the, the best, best flyer. flyer. Yeah. <laughs> that almost got him. Jesus was really tempted by that one. Shadow bolts. Just let me try this bridge real quick, and then we have a deal. No! It's them or us. <laughs> it's kind of a force oh, thing. Yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> kind of like showing your hand Rainbow. really early. I know. You play it a little more subtly. Yeah. Maybe like, oh, you can come back. We just need to do something well, real quick, you know. You, yeah, you get him with some like, more passive. Thank you. And it's like, offer, I mean. you need to kill all of them individually, and then you can join us. Yeah, you could, that took literally like three seconds. <laughs> Can't like, it. no dilemma there, like at all. <laughs> it's this random team in the forest on, in an old right. castle that she's never heard of before. I would love to see a scenario like that, but it actually turns out to be real, and that's like the. <laughs> One, two, three, four. There's only five. Where's the six? Oh, so pinky. Oh no! Pink I wonder what will make it when complete. The five are present, a spark will cause the sixth element to be revealed. What in the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm language. Sure, but I have an idea. <laughs> yeah. Stand Jeez. back. This is a kid show. I don't know what will happen. Come on now, y'all. She needs to concentrate. You know, abandon her. 
I know. <laughs> like, it's understandable that like hey would get into lexicon, but it'd be like saying what in the hamburgers is that supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> what the coleslaw? <laughs> I'm surprised we don't do that, honestly. It's like saying fudge. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What the fudge? <laughs> you join again, Billy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now she's showing up. She had to suck her into a different. Is this a different building or is it a different. Yeah, they moved. They went to a different building. Yeah, different oh. portion. She could have just. Just one okay. spark. I just. I don't know the. How being a villain works. I, I just wonder well, if, like. Since the Celestia just, like, just, you know, booked it out of there, it's like, yeah, she's kind of weak, I'll just let them handle it. Yeah, she knows her sister's, like, not all there. It's terrible yeah, at being a villain. Like, oh. Super duper weak, d barely does anything. I mean, that's why she's still there in the moon for, like, hundreds of years, I guess. The night will last. My sister's so embarrassed. She's not a genuine threat, I'm just really embarrassed of her. <laughs> won't show her face. That's why she did it till Twilight. She's like, oh shoot. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, she's she's trying to hide out. that. Represents the spirit of honesty. <laughs> well, she was Same honest that she me. wasn't gonna murder you <laughs> out of the wild. <laughs> if anything, it was almost like a pleasant falsehood to keep up her spirits. Spirit of? Represents the spirit of? Hairdressing. Oh. And Mango Dash. You still don't have the sixth element. The spark didn't work. But it did. A different kind of spark. I felt it the very moment I realized how happy I was. Semantics will save me from the situation. They got five out of six. It's like a philosophical debate at this point. No! You don't have that one thing. Oh, Got the okay. lifesaver. So, friendship is magic. So, is magic friendship, or, or is French friendship is the magic, right? But she is also magic. She is magic. Friendship is magic, but magic is also magic. Okay. Friendship is magic, but magic is also part of the friendship, which is magic. It's very simple. Right. But the magic part is probably a little bit more important than the friendship part. Probably, I would argue that. But. But they gave her a Care Bear stairs. We're, mix, we're mi mixing uh, no! French judges here. Pride Month again? No! <laughs> Look at all the Ugh. nice little accessories that they can sell. Yep. They killed her with the power of gay. The most powerful force on earth. I mean, I'd argue they kill her with the power of merchandising, because now you can buy all the little necklaces and all the, and the little tiara for, for your I'll child. Never part with it again. I thought you were just spouting a lot of hooey, but I reckon we really do. <laughs> we didn't wow. believe a single word of trust said. there. She's not honest at all. She's a liar. <laughs> well, I, wow, Twilight, I thought you were full of crap. <laughs> I just pretended. I thought you were lying to us all. <laughs> You have murdered my sister. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, you are now child soldiers. Twilight Sparkle, my faithful student. I knew Heck, you were you, woman? But you told me it was Just, all an old poet. You know, taking a break. I told you that you needed to make some friends. Nothing more. I saw the signs of Nightmare Moon's return. And I knew it was you who had the magic inside. Oh, a typical boss, you know. She, she, she takes left. all the credit for your work. I was wondering if she's a... She delegated it. If it's gonna be like, oh, yeah. I thought you could handle it, so Princess I just left. Luna. It has oh been no, there she is. Okay. Since I have seen you like this. A thousand years. Good to grief. Put differences behind us. We were meant she didn't to try to like, together, little sister. you know, rehabilitate sister? her. Will you accept my friendship? <laughs> didn't talk to her in a thousand years. But she, grief. Unless she's insane. She delegated so this so vicious sorry. combat with her so evil much. sister to her student in a group of children. And then came back at the very end and was like, I mean, they're adults. <laughs> Are they? I thought they're like young adults. Yeah. Hey, you know what this cult? Well, I mean, and then she comes back and is like, oh, hopefully now we can make it better. It's like, you didn't even get involved with the conflict. You just set out until it was saved. 
Yeah, I, I stuck you in jail I, for a thousand years. Can I think you Celeste is the again? secret villain. Yeah. <laughs> for a thousand years, she could have like popped in and like, you know, hey, can we try to work this out? Maybe I can try to like free Why you so from cool, the darkness. My faithful student. Are you not happy that your quest I can't remember the plot. I can't remember why she turned evil. Because, well, Everyone I mean, she was sleeping. jealous of... Okay. No, she was, she was ultimately jealous of Princess them. Celestia being Spike, the daytime. Me, like, I, but, I mean, Celestia, she could have literally just, like, asked her if she could, unicorn, you know, Twilight take the day Star once in a while or something. <laughs> yeah. Princess Celestia took both night and day. She was unwilling to budge on any front. From her new then she comes in and tries to act like there. she's the good guy. Oh, this is this disgusting? <laughs> <Celestia. laughs> yeah, yeah, I just... Secretly <laughs> evil? Yeah, I just want to point out that she basically provoked her sister to wrath so that way she could take over both the night and the day. I mean, I've never been so yeah. See a thousand years. I would talk about yeah. more about like the plot. It's a small and overall. touch. But yeah, we'll we'll get in the plot. So I yeah. think what we really learned as the lesson for these two episodes is that don't trust royalty, especially don't mm -hmm. trust Princess Celestia, who is like a political master, and it makes sense why she's been the ruler for like over a thousand years at this point. Yeah, she's um, basically the god king. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I feel like oh, go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say, I, I thought the problem, I mean, it is for children. Right. So the only, my only problem with this episode is it's so, like, obvious where it's going from the start. It's literally, like I said, it's like Dora. It's like we go from one area to another and we illustrate everybody's, like, you know, ability and what their element is. Which, I mean, it's effective because you lay it out, you know, everybody's special thing, mm -hmm. you know. But I don't know. I guess I was hoping for... <laughs> I don't know. Something less just, you know, one to one, less, less cut and dry. But well, I think uh, just like people and the internet has kind of ruined that, like the clear expectations of the show in a way. Because mm -hmm. everyone's been singing its praise. And it is a good show, but again, it, it doesn't, it can't really go past the age range they're shooting for, which is, you know, yeah, that's, which is that's fine. what I felt. Yeah. Watching this episode, it really felt its age bracket, you know, especially like mm -hmm. the trees are all looming over them and then suddenly Pinkie Pie just starts singing and the threat is just stopped out of nowhere. But, you know, <laughs> they were never well, moving it's a cute to show. But like you were saying, yeah, I don't know, I've, I've, I'm suspicious of Celestia. She seems like a nefarious character, but what are you going to say? Well, it reminded me a lot of a uh, really weird comparison, but Digimon. Because mm -hmm. uh, in Digimon, especially their first season, very early on, every episode would focus on one Digimon who would like uh, evolve or be the one thing that can solve the issue yeah. of the day. That I was getting yeah. those vibes, but that's just because. Yeah, which it's, I it's guess it's comparison. effective. It's effective. I feel like it's a little too blunt, but you know, for that age range, that's the thing. That's why. I can't figure out why people our age and our gender, which you know necessarily doesn't matter, but what captivated them so much with the show when it's like just a well made kid show. You know, there's not much going on to keep me super invested, although I am enjoying it. Yeah, well, we've only done two episodes and they had to yeah, resolve no, this one. It yeah. felt like this one was more rushed than the first episode of part one. Um, yeah, this this one, this one way, gave me like pilot vibes in a way. Well, it is like but, episode one, episode two. It's it basically is. a big pilot. Yeah, because so. it's like this is who the, this is who this is this is who this is this mm. is who this is, and this is what they do. That's what I, what I got. So I was like, oh, this is probably like part of the pilot or something like that. Yeah, no, it's it's just setting up the world. It's literally setting up everybody's shtick and what they do. They use their abilities and their characteristics to overcome some evil force they use friendship you know which is magical and magic is also friendship magic oh it's kind of uh, circular reasoning I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to debate with them I'm like, um, excuse me no. it can't be the <laughs> which it's effective it sets it up i'm i don't have any like it's nitpicky i don't have any serious complaints it's just i don't i still can't get to 
brony hood, you know. But then again, it's only been two episodes, yeah. so you may need a lot more. My only um, complaint is uh, how simple uh, Rainbow Dashes was. That was that was <laughs> probably the that was probably the weakest out of all yeah, of them. Yeah, it wasn't me. a nightmare moon. What is what is the evil princess's name? It just um uh Luna is it Luna? Luna? I just uh, I let just me look it up. <laughs> I keep calling her Nightmare Moon because I actually. I think it is Princess Luna. It would make sense. Yeah, Princess Luna. I like to, okay. I like to think that when they were running on that chair at Celeste, she was like whispering in your ear, it's like, you better behave or else you're going back in that moon. <laughs> yeah. I know, just the way Celestia handled it is just bizarre. <laughs> I like how like she... um, Applejack, like you mentioned, was honesty, but you didn't believe a single word of Twilight <laughs> Circle. Like, well, yeah. she's honest. She doesn't necessarily believe other people. I guess so. She was very honest with she was, Sparkle there. Yeah, she was honest about that. Uh, what was I going to say? I guess it's kind of like elf logic, where like because mm. elves uh, traditionally live so long, it's like a thousand mm. years. That's like a blip, you know. Yeah, it'd be like, it'd be like putting away. So, uh, so let's just less invested. Year, I guess. Celestia's yeah. like Peter Pan. No, so I just I want to make sure I understood. So Celestia wasn't like imprisoned. Or like anything no, like that because of like Luna. No, no, no. But like because Luna came back, Celestia wasn't somehow incapacitated. Correct? She was just right. She not just there. Did. Okay, I just yeah. want to make sure she's, I fully she's understood just abandoned that. Abandoned her post. Yeah. yeah. She just said, <laughs> she "Okay, was, I'm gonna put, she, I'm gonna put my feet up for this one." She, <laughs> that's got me coughing. She she literally delegated it to her student and her friends, and then came back once everything was safe. Didn't like try to mm-hmm. facilitate it or help them through it. Uh, no. I don't know. She she, she came I mean, back. She's a great claimed, politician, but yeah, she claimed all the credit for, uh, mm. for rehabilitating uh, Princess Luna. Yeah, can we now be <laughs> friends? It's like I didn't <laughs> yeah. try right. once during I mean, these thousand years. A thousand years. <laughs> it was a good political move because you think about it. She sent her no, student it's... to fight. Princess Luna in Nightmare Moon uh-huh. form. They defeat yeah. her, so any animosity she had will be now towards the student and the group, and uh, yeah. she can no, then come true. in and be like, oh, you know, I forgive you, do you forgive me type thing, you know. I yeah. I think it was a brilliant political maneuver. You, no, that's you, how you, you, you I never what? say it wasn't brilliant politically. And it does make sense, because think about it. Luna is like, I fought my sister, and she had to imprison me on Moon, but here she loses to, like, a bunch of, like, nobodies. So that's got to, mm. like, hit her ego really hard. Like, the destruction of yeah. the ego right there. You know, so, what, Celestia, I, I think... so Celestia can come mm. and be like, I can rebuild you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm seeing the logic to it. I, I think it's really duplicitous, but cool, politically logic. and strategically, it, it probably was the best move to make. So, yeah. Hmm. We're going to keep All our right. eye on Celestia in the I future. Think so. I think we have to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I just can't wait till the episode, like, they go to the war with a neighboring kingdom and she drafts them all and, like, all the propaganda <laughs> comes out and all that. Oh, that's going to be uh, interesting. Yeah. Light Sparkle, there are <laughs> people Dash. with printing presses that are against my message. Can you uh, can you go back <laughs> and destroy their printing press? <laughs> Rainbow Dash flying above, dropping bombs. All this yeah, magical like a- warfare. Come friendship in is <laughs> friendship is a death weapon. <laughs> friendship, <laughs> friendship is MAD, mutually assured destruction. I don't know. I don't know. I wish. I don't. I don't see that happening. But I wish it would. Um, a boy can dream. A boy can dream. Yeah. So I, you know, we have to say whether we think we're becoming a brony. I don't think I'm quite there yet. I'm still engaged with the show, and I want to watch more. But I'm still struggling with the concept of how people became a Brody. Yeah, uh, me that's, too. That's I, I, I can yeah. recognize it as I a just, good kids show, but so far that's all I see it as. It's just a good mm-hmm. kids show. Yeah. I just don't think the first two episodes are... I mean, I think they, they helped because they did show quality. But mm-hmm. I don't think those two episodes are like what drove people or, or indicator, no, at least for right now. And that's fair. See, it's... Especially towards the end of the season uh what we'll, mm. what we we're thinking yeah i think no, it, i still, think it was like early a, days. i think it was subliminal messaging in the tv in the show and aired <laughs> <laughs> flip the switch in people's minds yeah 
Right. Their Celestia well, ploy. Yeah. That's episode two. I guess we'll talk to you later. Goodbye, every pony. Bye, every pony. Yep. I've been Rosemary Cinnamon. I've been, I've been Storm Lightning. I've been Juicy <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> Fox just he ending talked over me. <laughs> we didn't even talk about how we made our our icons and our we got our pony names. I don't know if people watch the stream, but we can it's go into there. that you can watch another it. time. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, right. we'll, um, yeah. We can do it next episode. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everypony. Bye. Bye.